Hey, welcome to Novel Tech 3D. Today, I'm actually really excited because I'm going to be attempting to make a really cool ball contraption that I can hang on my wall. This should be cool because it's actually motorized, so I can just leave it there until I turn off the power and it will recycle the balls through the contraption. For the ball contraption, I'm going to use this type of rail for the ball to slide on. This is my design. I know it's kind of messy, but I'm going to go off of it. I just finished cutting out and laying out all of the metal pieces. And the ball will start here. It will go down and then go into this random box. These walls will be covered with plexiglass, that way they don't escape. Then they will come down this long ramp back on here. This giant gear will actually be spinning, so it will carry it up and then it will just restart the cycle until I turn off the motor. Now I'm going to weld. mechanism welded together, but now I want to put the plexiglass on top of this random box. Then I'm going to work on the gear a little bit more. this large gear and a motor to spin this. I even welded on these little cages so that the balls could stay inside. But then I realized that this will not work because there's a little lip here and the ball will not want to come out. So I'm going to have to totally not use this gear idea and I'm actually going to go with a spiral type of idea. I'm going to use these two pretty large drill bits and they're going to be spinning at a certain way with the motor, that way the ball can rest on the edge and it will actually bring it up to the top of the contraption. I've got the mechanism that pushes the balls up all done. And as you can see, it's just this drill bit, and then I'll have a motor down here that actually rotates it and lets the balls go up. Now I'm just gonna finish it off. I have actually two mechanisms because each drill bit was not long enough to make the full rotation. So I'm gonna put this one here, but I need to figure out a way to connect them. I think I'm just gonna do that using another two bars like this and something on the bottom just like these ones. I just cut all of these on the bandsaw. These are gonna be the place where the ball rolls from this spiral to the next spiral. Now I'm just gonna weld this together, making sure that it's straight, and I'm gonna connect it to here. Then I'm just gonna try it all. Two 
12 volt 10 RPM DC motors that I'm going to use for this project so that the spirals can turn by themselves. And in order to do that, I actually need to connect the motor shaft to the end of the spiral. I actually found these two little steel tubes that I can bend to clamp around the motor shaft and the end of the spiral. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. I just finished mounting the motor to the end of the spiral, and now I'm actually gonna do the wiring. To do that, I'm gonna use these two nine volt batteries and a couple of wires as well as a switch to put everything together and make sure that it works. This ball contraption was actually a lot harder than I first anticipated and I think that the reason for that is just because of all the brainstorming and figuring out what I'm going to do to make the balls go up so that I could recycle through the system. But I finally got it down. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe and like and while you're at it you could click the notifications bell because I upload every couple weeks. You can also comment down below in the comment section if you have any questions or tips for me. See you next time on Novel Tech 3D.